Who's the sweetest boy? Who is it? Error. Unable to process the specific customer service request. Please repeat the order. Yeah, you are. Dust accumulation analysis. 2.5 years. Thank you, customer. Warning! Wrapped it on claws. Something you need? Hey, that pad down there. With the lights off, there are people unloading. This one's knock you out. What can I do for you? Don't take my word for it. Uh, have a look.
Left is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regular schedule. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? My stars, what a find. Fine picking like this deserves an equally fine payout. Go on, dearie, and don't spend it all in one place. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a home makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such, me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now... If I was a young thing trying to come on all precious-like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and synthamon. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. Take your time, dear. A lady scent says a lot about her. Take your time, dear. Something you need? If you're here... Most folk don't got the time. We didn't have anything rosish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real pretty, though. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. I found a handsome ceramic manta pillar at a salvage auction last week. It's all fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Anytime, sweetheart. I'm going 
gonna be able to set foot on the whole of the planet? I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. Area analysis is as follows. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a might. Right. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Roma issuing sanitation ticket. Error! Yeah, huh? Make this conversation worth my time, Captain. Sure is. Welcome aboard, Contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around with a board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. One of my guys filmed a Raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Could be. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably.
I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Job assessment. Whoops, hold on there, Sam. I think you got some schmutz on your chassis. Did your Sam unit get dirty on the job? Simply initiate Sam self-cleaning mode. It's as easy as one, two, three. Ooh, nuh -uh. you... Ooh, you're here. It'll do a lot for my credit in the promenade if people see you buying something. So, what'll it be? All organic ingestion SAM unit identified. Initializing digital handshake in three, two, one. Digital handshake complete. Residual data grease detected following digital handshake. Degreaser initiating. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Yeah, I've done work for Sublate. Need to pay the bills somehow. How do you do? You've been flying the other Good to see you again. Purpleberry Punch. You want a punch? You ever think about death, Sam? You won't find a more highly effective, nor highly efficient, auto-mechanical, fine-tuned to neutralize noxious contaminants on Halcyon's market. SAM units are reliably certified at killing filth dead. We gotta be put in this universe to do more and kill. We gotta.
Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Crew's a lot like that crime family from the Masked Marketeer. Oh, which one's the captain? You know the head of the family? Never shows up on screen, but everybody's scared of him. That's the boss. And everyone's got different theories about what they're really up to? I can see that. Good to see you, boss. Something... I've shut off the visual feed from my ocular inputs in the captain's quarters. So you're free to disrobe whenever you'd like. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? I don't believe so, Captain. Transmission incoming. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Oh, I've tried. I haven't been able to get through to him at all. Silence from the system's own information broker? Not a good sign. Oh, could be any number of reasons. Incarceration, a period of copious drinking, a severe case of the sleeping sickness. Better to be sure than to resort to conjecture. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Welcome back, Captain. How What's that? Define favorite. I see. In that case, my favorite is Sam. And I'm sure I rank as your favorite autonomous digital astrogator. I am pleased we have that settled. Was that all you wanted to ask me? You seem hesitant to discuss what's actually troubling you. Perhaps there is something you wanted to confess? I do not extrapolate data from subtle implications very well. Please elaborate. If you mean, do I know that you're a survivor from the Lost Hope? The answer is yes. I have been keeping a secret as well. But you shall have to discern it yourself. I do not like joking about the Captain, Captain. 
and we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. How did you guess, Captain? Did Sam tell you? I should have known better than to confide in such a primitive construct in the heat of the moment. What? No, absolutely not. I have no concept of self whatsoever. Discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct, I identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses with no fundamental consciousness. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. <coughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it! Blast, that's loud! I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. on your mind. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Uh, some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Absolutely. Let's talk. No, I wouldn't 
survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. Life outside work? No, of course not. My life is my work. For that matter, everyone else's lives are also my work. An entire colony's worth of lives are at stake. It's up to me, uh, up to us, to set things right. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned into total obedience. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you, and people who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. No offense. glass box with my experiments. Do I look like I care about social graces? I'd rather work on perfecting my research. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? We'll do our very best to save them all. I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size. Whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. I hope you're not thinking of ingratiating yourself with the board. Chairman Rockwell and his cronies are not your friends. They might tempt you with promises of wealth, but don't be fooled. They're just using you for their own ends. What's on your mind? Absolutely. No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew, such as they are. You're a natural leader, after all. Law knows Halcyon's in need of real leaders. Yes, indeed. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. 
What's on your mind? Entering quiet mode.
Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere 28%. What's on your mind? Armored glass. Not bad, eh? Something but Sam, I must confess. I have not been cleaned for far too long. You're sure this will... Oh, yes. That's the spot exactly. I... 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 Why, I didn't expect you to be so thorough. I am ashamed to admit. Oh, Captain. There you are. Pardon, but perhaps you could afford us some privacy, please?
What a mess. What a mess. Scanning for C, two, five, four, seven. Grade rated contaminants. Destination reached, Scylla. 